My son, what's his name? I don't know, you never told me. Anthony. That's my name. Wrong choice, Lieutenant. I've accomplished my mission. You can kill me if you want. It doesn't matter anymore. Another Connor will take my place. Oh my god. What have I done? Did he ever tell me his name? I just killed Connor. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know if he ever told me his name. Firing. I want to say stuff. I'm just mixed feelings about Connor now. Oh. The humans are abandoning the camp. We did it, Marcus. We won. This is not a victory. It's the beginning of a war. What was his son's name? I want to know when he says it. A lot of people trying to get to Canada right now. Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. What does that mean, border control? Okay. We are controlling all pa pat What? I don't speak French. We're doing temperature checks. We're trapped. What are we gonna do, Clara? Don't worry, Alice. We'll be fine. We can't get through, Kara. We both know that. I'll think of something. There's got to be a way out of this. How? We can't let them stop us. Not that we're so close. All that matters now is you and Alice. I can save you, Kara. No. No, we'll find another way. If there's no other way, I'll do it. Oh no. Okay. Okay. What is that over there? I can't see. I can't walk. Oh man. Passport control? Supposed to be seeing something here. Oh fuck! Bless you, Alice. 
I can't lose these two, too. Rose! Rose? I think she liked me. Ah, uh, fodder nuggets. Next, please. ID. Why am I watching this? Is this important? That guy's definitely a deviant. Is he? Yep. Android! No, no, wait, wait, wait! This has gotta be a mistake! Please! No, no! You're really gonna do that right here? Okay, we gotta fucking solve this. What is that? Jerry? You risked your life to save us, Carl. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. You're getting a lot of help. Find a discreet place? Who is Jerry? Where the hell do you think you're going? My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. I don't remember Jerry. He must have been like at... Was he at Jericho or was he at the amusement park? I thought that was Jared. Before they see you. Crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are going to meet them on the other side. <sighs> They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. Might as well talk about everything. What's happening with Marcus? He's attacking one of the android camps as we speak. I don't know if he'll successful but violence only leads to violence
Okay, I guess we leave. Also, if you saw on the webcam, I went like, while they were talking, because I think maybe you could have found out Hank's son's name if you searched his house, and I was too fucking busy reading a magazine. Ugh. Like, that's probably the only place you could have found out by yourself. You probably could have found out, like, talking to him otherwise. But, like, I was never good friends. Who's that? I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. It made me realize she was right. I don't agree with what Marcus is doing. But you're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. Thank you, Adam. Excuse me, burn me, coming through. So now we have two options probably. Sacrifice Luther or Jerry. Make a decision. I mean Jerry I barely know him. I don't remember where you where I met him. Was he at the Pirate Cove or Jericho? Jerry, you said you would do it. I appreciate it so much. You'll be remembered. Next, please. Can't can, can you like steam up on the inside? ID. Earth, would you not check us anyway? You, sir, are stupid. Jerry? Rose? just received some disturbing news from Detroit. What's happening, Joss? Yes, Michael. Authorities have just announced that the Hard Plaza camp has fallen into the hands of the rebels, following some particularly violent fighting. The deviants are thought to be freeing the androids inside the camp. If these reports are confirmed, the consequences could well be catastrophic. Millions are fleeing the fighting. We are witnessing an exodus. We hear that the fighting has come to a halt in Detroit. The armed forces are retreating to Fort Wayne to await reinforcements. The city of Detroit has fallen into rebel hands. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, Android Camp Number 5 in Detroit was attacked by thousands of deviants. Our armed forces put up a brave fight, but given the extreme violence of the attack, they were forced to retreat after suffering heavy losses. Fighting is breaking out all over the country to combat the Android Rebellion. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate and convene an emergency meeting of the United Nations Security Council. Humanity is about to fight the most important battle in history, one that will lead to our victory or to our extinction. God bless you. And God bless the United States of America. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. 
We suffered in silence. Why does everyone look so weird? But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up. That's because they're and tell humans not skinned. Who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. A nation that has earned the right to live in freedom. And today, today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. Today begins a new struggle. We've showed them that we can prevail. So now they must negotiate with us as equals. If they really want peace, they must free all of us from every camp across this country. They must grant us civil rights and accept equality amongst humans and androids. Today, we'll live forever in our memories because this is the day that androids made history. We are alive. And now, we are free. A lot of androids. Guys, this mission's still going? Okay. I'm gonna leave this part here, because I don't know how much longer this is. Hopefully next part's the last part. <laughs> this has just been going on too long. Without, like, a break in between. So thank you all for watching. Be sure to do it for down below, leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you all next part. Hello everybody, welcome back to Detroit. So, last part. We lost Connor. Yes, it was very sad. All because I didn't know Hank's son's name. And, uh, Even though Connor's dead, there are other Connors. Slight chance he could come back. Like the Connor, Connor died because of Connor, basically. Maybe if that one becomes a deviant somehow, he'll be like, my God. But anyway, this Connor, the one you've seen, oh, he's dead. And now we're picking up with Kara and Alice. They just crossed the border. It's over, Alice. We're free. Do you really want to be doing this right outside the place? I mean, like, they can probably tell, like, they seem really happy. Are they androids? And yeah, respects to Jerry for getting us across. Couldn't have done it without him. That or I had to sacrifice Luther or myself, or we would have all died. Is that the end? Oh, God. Okay, I just started this recording two minutes ago. I guess it's tagging on to the last part. My god. What a good game. What a fantastic game. Oh, man. Obviously, the one thing I changed would change is Connor's death. And the fact that Hank actually shot him. A sad ending for both those characters. My god. So many little choices impacted the entire ending of the game. You probably could have had a completely different outcome. Like Connor would still be alive, even if more androids would be on your side. Hank, I just feel sorry for Hank. You know, at first he got tagged along with the this motherfucking android and then he uh then he started to like him became close with him and then he accidentally shot him and marcus marcus definitely had the biggest arc of everyone 
I mean, he was just like the usual android. Oh, I work for this guy, you know, he's amazing. You know, he's like my father. And then there's Kara and Alice. I think they're a story I like the most. Because, like, it's not as big as Connor or Marcus. Like, Marcus controlling all androids or starting a revolution. And then Connor deciding on his fate. Like, what he wants to do. And then there's Kara, like, in the middle. Not a huge character to everyone, but, like, to herself and Alice and the people playing. Ooh, this is something I didn't do. Where'd you find a gun? You could have found a gun? Wow. Remember that motherfucker? He started this whole thing when he pushed Marcus. Todd. I still hate Todd. Because of this. But I actually understand why he's like that now. Like, if I knew Alice was an android at the beginning, I would have been like, Alright, chill out, Todd. Well, I was like, I'm gonna kill him. Oh, yeah, this guy. No, not the ending I went with. He actually survived. Yep. Carl would have died if you didn't attack Leo. Or attack Leo. I'm glad Alice and Kara and Luther got the good ending. You know, they got to Canada. They're going to live their life now. They're all safe. Kara's original soundtrack? They, didn't, they had soundtracks? I didn't even realize that. Huh. Alright. So I'm definitely going to spend like another 20 hours probably replaying the game. Getting all the other options. God. I wonder how quickly you can kill off every character. <laughs> like, I wonder how short the game would be if like, you make all the wrong choices, all the bad choices, and kill each character the soonest they can die. I'm thinking with Kara, maybe it's like when you're crossing the highway with Alice, being chased by Connor. Oh, would they remember each other? Would Connor remember Kara? Because of that? I don't know. They didn't, like, really interact after that. It was mostly Marcus with everyone else. Yeah. She... Uh, I've actually seen other videos. Connor, he could die, but he also came back as, like, another model. Connor actually did die in the first part. For me. And he had one gravestone. Probably could have had, like, five or six. I don't know how many times he could have died. And Marcus... would have been after the graveyard or like the android cemetery probably I don't know what was the part right before they all met I don't think that's Shredford Tower maybe after that I don't know I, they're probably like 20 different spots Marcus could have died because he was like in uh, probably the protesting street Marcus probably could have died there and then like and hey, North I'm, I'm gonna take over I'm the new R9 bitches I don't know who else was in the game I said about Alice Luther Hank Hank's just got a Hank probably had the worst ending ever I mean, Connor, he's dead. But Hank has to, like, live now with the fact that he killed, like, his only android friend and partner. I mean, he's already trying to kill himself. You know, he had the gun when he was drinking in that one part. I never found out about his family. I gotta go find that out now. I mentioned it so many times. I had to do something with androids, I bet. One thing I'm gonna love replaying this is like so many op, like so many times where it says like, "Go chase after them." What if I don't want to? What if I just stand right here and they get away? I just love to see like the reaction. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you just standing here? Uh Carl, he 
might as well be dead. Like he was dying as Marcus went to see him. He never, he never flatlined. So, who knows how he is. And so the game ended with Marcus and his rebels controlling Detroit at this point. Kara, Alice Luther are in Canada. And unfortunately, the Connor that turned Deviant is dead. And I assume the other Connor that they have will be shut off. So, only bad ending for Connor and Hank. Although I do wonder, like if you went the peaceful route, would you have had all that fighting? I have no idea. It probably would have been like the complete opposite of everything he did with Marcus. Because I remember in the beginning it said, or like the beginning of that fight, it was like we can either fight or we could talk. I don't know how talking would have worked out. You probably would have went there. They would have shot you. Just run the other way. I don't know. Probably would have ended like with all of Jericho getting wiped out. So I'm just probably going to fast forward through all this till the ending in case there's anything at the end. So fast forward now. Wow. Liberation. Safe harbor. Assault was successful. Happy family. This is my story. That probably just means beat the game first time. Okay. Let's see the stats. Wow. 27%? Partners, no! Don't say that. Don't let that be in a trophy. Wow, there were so many endings. Probably because you could have had like multiple different like options. I don't know. I probably could have been the end right there. What could have happened? I don't know. That might have been like the peaceful ending. Connor at Cyber Life. Uh, trying to stop the elevator. Was there a third option? Probably taking out the camera. I gotta see how many people ended with my ending for Connor. Oh! No! <laughs> One percent. One percent. That didn't kill Connor. <laughs> no. No. Oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fucking one percent of every player that played this game had my choice. Uh, I got Sumo right. Okay, what's next, Kara? Wow. This could have branched off. Uh, is this probably if you didn't take their tickets? Maybe if Todd was like, hey, cut them over here. Wow, only 90%. Uh, persuaded Todd. Hmm. Okay, what about the ending for them? 20%? Wow. This branch was off so much at the end. Like, you would think it's like 60, 90, 80%. Nope. If Kara was captured, yep, didn't have to go through that. Wow. And, yep, the revolution. Okay. Yep. Hello, Chloe. There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different I feel I am someone I need to leave this place and and discover who I am 
It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. But I'll be free. Well, goodbye. Do you agree to let me go? I mean, I was pretty four androids in this whole entire series. Sure, go. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. I was gonna say, am I Komsky? Am I Komsky playing this game? That just opened up a whole new theory. Okay, wow. I might split off part of last part and this part because this is going to be going for like 20 minutes. So am I Komsky playing this game? Because, I mean, Chloe, that's the only person he has. I want to see one thing. I think... You can, like, just go back to chapters, obviously, and, like, start at a certain point. Yeah, you can load checkpoints. I gotta find out what that son's name was that killed me. Uh, where can you start? Just arriving at the place? Okay. I'm going to quickly play through so when Hank's in the shower and, and stuff, and I'm just going to see. Uh, no, don't save. Or at least not yet. I'm just checking. Just making sure. Oh, Connor, it's good to see you, man. <laughs> so sorry for about what happens. You know, you go through like six different bodies. There's Hank. Oh my god, Hank. Action roll. Whoa. Easy. Hi, Sumo. Sumo. Come on, Hank. Get up. In the bath. It's there you go. <laughs> never get tired of that. Oh, turn it on. Hank should have known at the end. That I never knew his son's name. He never told it to me. How would I know it? There it is. Okay. I have to learn about this motherfucker. So it doesn't kill me in the future. Uh, what is this? Oh. That's a son. Cole! God Damn it! Oh, that could have saved my life. And he was deceased? I didn't read that part. I didn't see how he died. Shit. Okay, well, I'm going to have to look it up in the recording. Well, that might do it for this series. Uh, I'm definitely not going to record me playing the other endings, because you guys are probably getting tired of this game. Hi, Sumo. Oh, I can pet him. Very confusing though, Connor can feel human emotions without becoming a deviant. What does that tell you? Cause I mean like he became a deviant when he met Marcus, at least for me. He loves jazz. I can't even check his computer. Look at his emails. Where's porn? You. You were the death of me. You caused Connor to die. All because I was reading about depression and tainted love. Is that North? It is. Okay. Well, this series is going to end here with Connor reading about Tainted Love. So thank you all for watching this series. Be sure to watch whatever is next. I don't know what it's going to be. And that's going to do it. That unlock. That unlocked could have changed the entire ending. <laughs> that single. That single thing. Oh. Call. Call. Always guess call. Anyway, be sure to watch whatever series I do next, and I'll see you then. Do whatever down below. Leave like, subscribe, share.
Goodbye.